All right, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna take the mask off. I'm back here. We're, we're in New York. I think this is considered Lindbrook. So we're at the card shack here. And uh, we're gonna see what the heck we got going on in here. Take you along with me. to hoops guys welcome back another day another video uh, as you can see from the beginning of this video i was in uh, new york this past weekend i was visiting, visiting my girlfriend and we went out to a, another card shop uh, which was pretty sweet so hope you guys enjoyed uh the, just a little recap of what it was like in there that was the card shack located in i believe it's called westbury long island uh, so if you're ever out there go check them out uh, definitely a, a cool place, very clean, a lot of, lot of product, and uh, definitely some uh, nice guys that work there. So if you're ever in, the, ever in the area, excuse me, go check them out for sure. Highly recommend it. Uh, before we get into today's video, if you guys could like and subscribe, let your friends know what's going on here. I try to, uh, I'm trying to mix things up a bit here at Salute to Hoops as opposed to just sticking with rips and stuff, We're going on adventures. Checking out local card shops and other areas, so um, definitely uh, trying to bring some fun back to the hobby. It's a, it's definitely a good time for sure. So uh, if you guys like it, like what you see, subscribe or uh, let your friends know what's going on here at the Salute to Hoops channel. And you could also subscribe or uh, not subscribe, follow. There we go. The Instagram, which is located right there, top uh, bottom left at Salute to Hoops as well. Uh, and today we're just going to go over kind of a recap of what I got while I was out there. Um, I did visit, uh, so I visited the first place, the card shack. Uh, there was a flea market that me and her went to, uh, that I got some cards at. I wasn't able to get any footage. Um, and then, uh, the place, the A&S cards, um, which I visited last time. If you haven't seen that vis video, you can check it out. Um, I did get some cards from there as well, uh, to include these, uh, two Dennis Rodman Lakers cards, Tops Chrome, which are pretty sweet. Huge uh, Dennis Rodman fan myself, and um, Tops Chrome is always one of the a nicer series. Dennis Rodman was only on the Bulls, sorry, not the Bulls, the Lakers for only 23 games, uh, so it's hard to find uh, these better quality cards of his uh, because he was only on there for a short period of time. Plus, it's Dennis Rodman. Who doesn't love Dennis Rodman? So moving on, we're going to go from left to right. So uh, these are the cards um, that I bought while I was at the uh, card shop um, that I initially visited, the A&S card shop, uh, also located in Long Island. 
So uh, I didn't have time, a lot of time to look because it was my my last day there, uh, actually my last few hours. So we just stopped in there kind of abruptly. Um, but I did find some cool cards. Uh, so we can go over these here. Uh, I just picked up some Kevin Garnett's. All, all these were three bucks. So they were kind of in line with prices on eBay. Uh, the tops, uh, 1999, uh, 2000 series KGs. Pretty good condition on all of them. I was able to briefly check them out as far as corners and uh, centering goes. They're kind of pretty decent. So I got to switch this loader out. It's kind of super old. It looks like it's like, probably been in there since 99, to be honest with you. Uh, but for being over 20 years old, um, I've, these were pretty solid condition for sure. And three bucks a piece. Not, not a bad price. Plus, KG is one of my favorite players growing up. Uh, I remember seeing him, seeing him on those Minnesota Timberwolves teams that were pretty, uh, pretty surprising with Latrell Sprewell and Sam Cassell and like Wally Zerbiak and like uh, Trenton Hassel and guys like that. So and Michael Olawakandi, I believe, was on the team as well. Good times, good times back in the day. Um, I picked up this Nikhil Alexander Walker uh, jersey card, um, Prism, obviously a rookie. I believe this was six dollars, so I kind of went out on a whim on this. I think that uh, we're gonna see a lot more Nikhil Alexander Walker next year because I really think that uh, Drew Holiday is probably gonna be on his way out uh, when it comes to uh, the Pelicans. So took a gamble. I guess we'll see what happens with this in the future. It might be something, might be nothing, but for six dollars, I figured. Whoops, and I'm throwing it. Uh, why not? Corners are good. Uh, especially, uh, I mean, it's a prison product, so I guess we will see. Maybe we can see what uh, next season has to bring, and hopefully Nikhil Alexander-Walker can bring me some profit. Uh, the last card that I bought at that shop uh, was this Matisse Thibault, uh, which was only $3. The uh, card is in good condition as well. The scratches that you see are on the top loader, um, so I made sure to, to check that out. Uh, I'm not too sure why this was so cheap. Uh, these are going, I think there's like five, six bucks on, on eBay. So it might have just been one of those deals where I kind of caught it um, just on a, a whim of luck. So, But I'll definitely take it. Matisse uh, Thibault. Um, I think Philly's going to see some changes as well, and they might be in Matisse's favor. So the rest of these cards right here, this stack and this stack, are going to be from this flea market that we went to. I wasn't able to get any footage when we were there. Um, however, it was a pretty good time. I found like this, uh, this, uh, the top of the, the flea market, it had like a bunch of cards and stuff. So I found this particular like booth, I guess you can call it, and they had a bunch of 50 cent cards. So all the cards I'm going to show you, I purchased for 50 cents, which is not too bad. So uh, these three cards right here, I thought these were pretty cool. Uh, I've never seen something like this. They're, they look like they were part of a series, obviously. Uh, Upper Deck Slam series, I'm going to assume. Uh, but as you can see, they're like see-through uh, plastic cards. Uh, we got a Scottie Pippen, Kevin Garnett, and a Paul Pierce. Uh, I haven't done any research on these, but I'm pretty sure... I mean, I would assume that more players were involved in this series. Uh, so I think I'll do some research and see who the hell else came with these because these are actually some pretty dope-looking cards. Uh, very early, early millennium-looking. Uh, yeah, the year 2000. So, But definitely a sweet design. <sighs> Moving on. Uh, we got some a nice little stack here. Uh, some Tracy McGrady's. Uh, these are all uh, uh, the SP Authentic and the uh, Flare series. Uh, very, very good condition on both these cards. Tracy McGrady was a beast back in the day. And one of my favorite players to never win a championship, uh, which is unfortunate. Next we have uh, his cousin, uh, Vince Carter. I believe we might have seen the last of him this year. I think he retired. Uh, but these are from the 99-2000 uh, season where Vince Carter was just an absolute beast. This is his prime. Uh, very good condition on both these cards. Corner, uh, corners look very good. 
and I, I was uncertain how I got these for only 50 cents, but I'll take it. Next, we have this Ray Allen in class of 1996 Flare Showcase card, which is really dope. And what caught my eye was that it's actually a numbered card, so it's number 2 of 20. Uh, I don't know what the actual comps are on this for eBay are, but um, 2 of 20 for 50 cents, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, especially for a legend like Ray Allen. Another card that I was surprised I found in there was this rookie card of Allen Iverson. Also decent condition here. Uh, centering is a little bit off, as you can see. So uh, who knows what this, this would? This looks like it would grade like an eight, to be honest with you, because uh, visibly, I mean, you can see around there. So uh, not the best cut card, but uh, still a cool card to have. And I think for fifty cents, I think anyone would have bought it, to be honest with you. These next cards are just a bunch of Kevin Garnett's. As you can see, various series. Um, I'm a, I was a huge Kevin Garnett fan when I was a little kid, so I really couldn't pass up on these for 50 cents each. And once again, I do try to check the condition of them prior to buying them, uh, making sure that uh, they're not in too rough a shape. Uh, but for 50 cents, you really can't go wrong with them. Uh, last but not least is the Scotty Pippen one. Uh, he's on the Trailblazers, but I, I pretty much got him because he's a former Chicago Bull. I do remember when Scotty was on the Blazers. Just, it was super awkward. Uh, also, when he was on the the Rockets, that was also really weird. And then he came back uh, to the Chicago Bulls, and he was just a shell of, of his former self in like 2004, I think it was, or something. Super weird. Either way, cool card to have. I was a Scott, I'm a Scotty Pippen fan. I like him. Moving on. <laughs> um, this was actually a card that I actually did pick up at the uh, card shack that uh, you saw in the beginning of the video here. It's this pretty dope Reggie Miller card uh, that I got for one dollar. Um, and yeah, just a super sweet design. Uh, Patriarchs, I believe that says right there. Great condition. I don't know what comps are on it, but I just thought that for one dollar, this was a, I've never seen a car like this at all. It's just super cool. Made by Tops. Um, it's like a real funky, super '90s vibe going on in it, but with the stars and everything, super dope. Super dope. Next, we're getting closer here, guys. Promise the video will be done soon. This was just a mail day. Uh, these were cards that I got, I had waiting in the mail for me uh, when I came back. So, first is this Devontae Graham uh, Optic Shock SGC Grade 9. I bought this for, I believe, $16 um, off of one of my buddies off of e or not eBay, of Instagram. Uh, it came in, and it, it uh, excuse me, it came in a lot. Jesus. Sorry, it's late. It came in a lot, um, and I bought some Darius Baisleys with it, too. They weren't graded, but they were pretty, some pretty dope Darius Baisleys. I'm a huge Devontae Graham fan. Um, he was I mentioned him in one of my investing videos a few months ago. So, uh, Last but not least are going to be these two uh, Kobe White Gem Mint 10s. Pretty dope. Um, I bought one of these for $16, and I bought the other for $19 on Mercari. Um, you guys already know how I feel about Kobe White. I think we're going to see a lot more of him this coming season. And I'm just kind of trying to load up on him as he comes by for, for the cheap. Pass up the uh, Gen Mint 10. I understand it's GMA, but I, I, I couldn't pass it up, to be honest with you. So, obviously. Uh, but, yeah. That concludes the video, guys. Just a nice little uh, kind of a L LCS haul, I guess you can call it, mixed with a small mail day. But wanted to show you guys what I got out there and um, kind of what I'm collecting and so on and so forth. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys like the, these adventure-type videos and going new places, uh, let me know. Uh, I, I'm not going to be, like, flying around all the country, but um, I do visit her quite often so um can maybe make like a series out of it or something 
Uh, but it, it's really fun for me. So I'm just trying to keep the, the hobby fun and keep things different around here. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I really appreciate you guys watching. I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.